my little outfit of the day i have my little athletic wear set it's not really a set but i just made it a set okay <laughs> i am about to get out the house oh do y'all see my my new glasses i showed y'all these before haven't i i don't think i have but they'd be like real cute and i got like my little outfit on my makeup on all that good stuff they're they're bomb okay but um <laughs> i just have this on my feet are extremely ashy but yeah, I'm about to go get my little feet done because, honey, they so crusty. I ain't going to lie. See, I ain't going to sugarcoat it. They're crusty and they need to be done. So I'm about to go um, do that now. Before I leave, I need to go iron babe's clothes for work. And then I need to, um, he told me to get something out the car. I don't know what he needs me to get out the car. But I'm about to go do that real quick. And then I'll be out of here. I want to run by Ulta today. I want to go to um, get my feet done. And I'm going to read or try to read one of my books that I ordered. Um, you know, I love to read books in the beginning of the year to kind of like refresh my mind, get a new way of thinking. Remember I was telling y'all about like, like the life snow change and how to, you know, have abundance and all the good stuff. So I'm going to read this book. It's called Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. I've heard about this book in the past. I've never read it. So I think I'm going to read this. Um, I saw like a ex excerpt video from that, um, what it is? Rich Dad Poor Dad guy, the guy that wrote that book. And I'm kind of interested in reading that one too. So I may read that one. If y'all have read any of those books, let me know how you feel about it. Um, I read The Secret last year. Oh my God, that sounds so long ago. Just in 2020, I read The Secret then and I've been like exposed to a whole new way of thinking. So I'm going to, I got like little notes. I like literally put notes all throughout that book. So I'm going to go back and read that book and look at the notes that I put in there. I'm also going to start reading that book there, and I am, um, excuse me, I'm waiting on my little planner that I got. It's like a planner that was derived off the book called The Secret, if y'all know what I'm talking about, by um, Run to Burn, Bind, Burn, something like that, but it's a, a planner that they have as well, and the planner, y'all, is so good. I'm just waiting on it to come in the mail. They haven't shipped it yet. was very very nice i was going to a different place and i just felt like i was just paying way too much for not you know getting enough service so basically at the other place they would just you know do the pedicure do the little uh hot towels a little bit of massage and that was it but here y'all saw that she did like the i'm not sure if i got everything that she did because i was really into my book and i was like oh damn i need to pick a camera up and you know get some footage but um she did like the all the you know regular pedicure stuff they did the little hot bags of 
I don't know if that's oil that they put on your feet or whatever, but it felt good, y'all. I'm telling you, it felt wonderful. Um, she massaged it. I wish it had been a little more intense with her massage, but I'm there for a pedicure, not a massage. So I have to understand that. Because <laughs> I be wanting to post this, you know, girl, get in there. <laughs> I'm trying to see if I actually can go get a massage. The massage place um, is actually around the corner. And I am going to stop by there because I've been, been trying to call them and no one's answering. So I don't know if they're closed or what. I'm going to try to stop by there and see if they have any openings for today. And if they do, I'll just um, set me an appointment, do a little bit more shopping while I'm in this area. And then um, I'll go get a massage. But I'm over here right now <laughs> at Books A Million. Because I want to go in there and see if they got any more um, inspirational books. Um, I told y'all I was going to read this book while I was in there. And I have been reading it. I've gotten to page 24. Um, it's actually pretty good. I'm on chapter. Oh, I'm in the middle of chapter 2 right now. And I just want to like kind of express or give a little synopsis a synopsis of what i synopsis i'm talking about work a little synopsis of what i have read so far and what i'm getting out of it what i'm, I'm understanding i'm trying to I, I wanted to write in this as i go but i don't want to really write inside the book i want to put the sticky notes in there and i don't have any and i did not have a pen on me when i was in there but so far out of chapter one um just you know trying to get like a feel of the book what i'm understanding is that a lot of the times when you um a lot of the times you won't achieve great success until you've gone through some type of struggle, frustration, or, you know, the, the wanting to give up type of phase. And I found myself going through that um, recently with something. I feel like if I, you know, I, I got to the point, where I'm like, you know what, I, should I just hang it up? Like, it's not really working the way I wanted it to, um, you know, just let it go. But apparently, wow, she can't drive. But apparently that's when most people find that, you know, a breakthrough is about to come through. Another thing that I've learned like halfway through chapter two is that you have to be persistent with what you want. You have to be clear and you have to be very specific about what you want. And then you need to um, basically embody that. You have to think, believe so that you can achieve. You can't say that I want this to happen, but I don't work towards that goal at all. Or I think it's just going to fall out the sky. You have to put work to, you know, towards what it is that you want. Let me um, get in the story. Y'all, my right eye has been watering up for like the past three weeks. It's so annoying because like I could be sitting here having a, a regular conversation and my eye is just dripping. My baby like, mommy, are you crying? No, baby, I'm not crying. And mama, I just, it's broke, okay? <laughs> All right, y'all. Let me get into this books a million just to see if they have any more good reads other than what I have. Hopefully, I don't see this planner that I just ordered in here because if so, I'm going to order this planner. I mean, I'm just going to buy this one because it's taking forever for them to ship mine. Like, come on. <music> So I believe something's telling me to read it. So I'm going to go ahead and buy it. The Four Agreements. And plus, I've watched Peyton Charles on YouTube as well. And she's read this. She's in like a whole book club about it. So I'm going to read it too. Alright guys, it was um 
$14.25 for four agreements. Beneficial. We'll find out. All right, so now I'm gonna go and see if I can book me a massage real quick. And if so, of course that's where I'm going. And then, um, that was fast. See, y'all see, y'all would like shopping with me because I, I don't take long. <laughs> I don't take long. Okay. So now I got me a book list. I need a, I need some friends that read books <laughs> so they can read books with me. Friends, where are y'all? Yeah, we're going to have fun reading this. I'm currently on this one. Boom, boom. And then I got, I told y'all, like I said, I got The Secret at Home. I'm going to go back and read that one again. I've already read that one, but I want to read it again. And then that Lincoln truck is cute. It's like a big Range Rover. What the freak is a massage place? Is it not over here anymore? Is that what it now is in the mouth? Or is it over there? Where the heck? Oh, Massage Envy's right there. They look like they closed. Let's go see. Oh, I went to uh, Massage Envy and their books. <laughs> she said the only openings that they have is for facials. And those are tomorrow. <laughs> I knew they would probably be booked, but I thought it may be just a little bit of hope. You know, the faith of a mustard seed will get me there, but they're booked. <laughs> but I ain't tripping though. I ain't tripping at all. I'm just going to have to suffer. You know, I'm okay with suffering. I've suffered this long be able to get one at a later time. Let's get our shop on. Oh, okay, get out the car. I won't fit in here. Okay, well done. Excuse me. I'm here with y'all. Delicious. Look at these. Okay, y'all. Just left out of Sephora. No, Sephora. Ulta. I gave the nice young lady at the counter one of my YouTube cards. So she was in. Uh oh. So she was interested in my camera. She's asking. She thought it was a, a portable charger. I was like, no, baby, it's a camera. <laughs> but no, she was very, very sweet. And her eyeshadow was bomb.com. I mean, bomb. So, hey, girl, if you're watching this, if you, you know, if you decided to subscribe after I gave you my card, hey. <laughs> Anywho, so, oh boy, I can't wait till I get my new um, YouTube cards because they have my QR code in the back of it. So instead of somebody having to go to YouTube and type in Amber Shanice, they can just scan it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sure I got out Ulta. Well, y'all know what I got for the most part. Got some lash glue and some lashes. I just wanted some everyday lashes, something that's not crazy like the mix. You know, um, cause I want to start wearing lashes every day. I figured I got these cute glasses, you know. I should be able to put some lashes under them. And I also got um, this um, Marc Jacobs Perfect fragrance. I did not want to get the big bottle because <laughs> 
I got some perfume that's coming on the way and I don't I, I know that you can never have too much perfume but I'm trying to go overboard okay so they had a little sample size bottle the travel size and it smelled so good so you know your girl is becoming of herself when she gets to these scents oh my god that smells so good I just want to eat me up eat me up oh my god y'all I should have went ahead and got the big bottle I'm tripping that stuff smells good so if you guys are looking for a little cute little fragrance um perfect by Marc Jacobs is really really good and it looks like it's for like younger women let me see what ingredients will send mm. it doesn't really tell me the scent it has in it but it's like a fresh a, a fresh almost kind of fruity kind of sweet like vibrant smell i don't know how to explain that but it smells darn good <laughs> well my good girlfriend just texted me she was asking me um how much was like my budget for my wedding and I, if i'm not mistaken i think it was around 11k if it wasn't around 11k it was around 9k had i had my way with everything that i ever wanted it probably would have been like 30k <laughs> That wedding went by so freaking fast, y'all. I don't remember nothing. <laughs> I really don't. Like, I see the pictures of like, oh, okay, okay, that happened. But I don't technically remember anything that happened for my wedding. So, if you're planning a wedding, please be budget friendly, okay? Please keep in mind that it is just one day. This is coming from a person that thinks that everything has to be extravagant, luxury, luscious, all this and all that y'all i'm over the top when it comes to like events and stuff so i felt like my wedding my wedding should be the talk of the century and blah 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 listen to me don't spend all that money for your wedding <laughs> i'm telling you thank god we're not like in debt and owing for it but when you think about it you're literally spending all that money for one day and it is you're not gonna remember crap okay do what you want to do but i wouldn't do it <laughs> Just to be honest, I wouldn't do it. Now, something that people are going to walk away with is they're going to walk away talking about your food for sure. So, invest in your food. If you're going to pay for food, pay for your food, okay? But everything else... checking in i'm currently at my sister's house and and we're watching the little kids movie soul had i known jamie Foxx was in this movie the entire time i would have watched it sooner it hasn't really gotten anywhere yet but you don't know i love some jamie Foxx, so that's why i'm watching it a little bit no. <laughs> She's off. <laughs> Sissy has one now, you guys. This is the camera that I'm currently using to vlog with. Mm -hmm. no. Clap your face so it would know the subject. So this is what my setup looked like, you guys. That's how I look right now. She has this. She took a picture. So if you tap that one time, it'll change it to the recording. Tap it once. 
Mm -hmm. Now I'm on video. And now you can record that person. That button. So that way, you can be like, hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube <laughs> Oh, that's the baby over there hitting that thing. I'm like, what's that sound? But see, I don't like it to my face when I'm walking around. Because it's going to be smoking in your face and your phone's around you. So like, if you're sitting down and talking to it, then that's good to check your face. But if you, other than that, it's gonna be jumping all the way around trying to follow your face. Yeah, get your dog. <laughs> 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 she tried her best to open it. Mommy's over there. <laughs> Rocking in the chair like a little old lady. <laughs> bye bye. My child down there is on the floor trying to destroy something. Right. Oh, she knows Get out of there. She can find out how to Right, right. Oh, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> All right, come on. You discovered enough. Come on. CRISPR Columbus discovering things that don't belong to you. Oh, you upset about it. <laughs>